Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Aloha. Aloha. So we just woke up and it's 7 a.m. in the morning. And that's a good thing because I guess I'm a little bit jet lagged and I did nothing but sleep yesterday. Yeah. So. Um, well, it's 10 at back home. Oh, true. So it is 10 back home. You never sleep past, you never sleep in past nine. That's true. Both of us don't. Yeah. So uh, I guess we naturally woke up. The whole house is still asleep still. So we can't give you guys the house tour yet because I don't want to wake people up. But we're in the backyard of our house. I know. And there's a canal here. Duck. Duck. Whoa. Look at that. It's the backyard. Okay, back up. So there's a, <laughs> <laughs> there's a canal here and it leads to the ocean. I'm not too sure if it's that way or uh, this way. But, um, True. but on the Airbnb, it says we can take a canoe and then we can canoe. Yeah, the canoe's right there. Oh shit, it's right there. Yeah, we could take the canoe all the way out into the ocean from here and it's just beautiful. Like, you know how all that stuff that I was saying about how I'm not ready for vacation? <laughs> you're Hawaii, ready. Hawaii is one of those places where like, cause like, you know, when you're inside of a house, it just feels like you're inside of a house. But then, as soon as I came in the backyard just to see if anyone was awake yet, and I see like the beautiful mountains, the palm trees, it's just like, wow, like you feel like you're in paradise and... Well, you are in paradise. True, you are in paradise. <laughs> and it doesn't matter like what mood you're in anymore. Like, 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 look at the mountains real quick. Like, that just looks like a set. Like, it doesn't look real. Like, it forces you to just shut your mouth, turn off your brain, and just stare at it in awe. Yeah. It really does. That's true. So, like you were saying, like you could be in a house and you're thinking of all these different strategies, all these different things you have to do, but then as soon as you step out here, you know, just to stretch, you're like, oh, and you don't want to go back inside. Yeah, like you just come out here to stretch and it just takes your breath away. And then, then you're like, oh man, so beautiful. On the plane ride, um, they have like these fun facts. And one of the fun facts that it told us was um, uh, the people of Hawaii live longer than any other state in America. I wonder why. And they attribute it to one, like the beautiful environment and a really friendly culture, so it's very low stress, and also the abundance of fresh fish. So that just kind of makes me want to live here. I want to live a long life. Because it's like, yeah, who doesn't want to live a long life? <laughs> a happy long life. Like, because there's one, there's a difference between living a long life and just yeah. having the shittiest experience. Yeah. Or living a long life and being happy and stress-free and like loving where you where where you are yeah i want the latter so um now what i'm gonna do is it's still really early i don't think anyone's gonna wake up until like nine or ten so i'm gonna go to the gym knock out a real quick workout and then come back and uh, join everyone nice. Eating the yummy breakfast that Ma Bear got me. What do you? What is it? A traditional Hawaiian breakfast, yeah. loco moco, except bodybuilder style with four egg whites. Okay. Why did you get it bodybuilder style? Are you trying to cut or something? Well, I'm still trying to remain relatively healthy, but still getting a taste of the island flavors. Island? Why? Why did you do Jamaican? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm up. Uh, what did you do today while we were all eating breakfast? I went to go train. I first went to a CrossFit gym. I don't know why. So if any of you guys go to CrossFit Kailua, I'm not calling you out or anything, but I am. But yeah, you are. Have a drop-in fee where someone could just work out in the corner. Because they told me that I can drop in, but I have to join a class. And I do the same workouts as CrossFit does, but in just my own way because I'm a powerlifter. So I don't need to do like a circuit. I just need to do my exercises separately. And there was no one there. But I guess I couldn't work out there, so I had to go to a 24-hour. That's is, dumb. Which is kind of nice. It's kind of like a, a nice change of pace. Just because, one, Hawaii is kind of humid. And 24-hour has AC. And I forgot what that felt like, and it felt pretty good. But the things that kind of sucked is 24-hour uh, doesn't have chalk. And because it is humid, all the bars get slippery real quick. And I don't wear gloves, so my hands are just slipping all over the place. 
and also there's no foam rollers so my body is still really tight from the plane like my hips are tight my uh my groin is tight and i couldn't roll out i just stretched a little bit and i just had to do the workout I feel, I feel because it's so hot you don't really have to stretch out too much well my body's tight though like the muscles are still tight uh, from just sitting on the plane uh, and like laying around yeah and i kind of adjusted my workout a little bit because um you know usually when i'm training at barbell i always have a guy that can give me a lift off yeah and i have to do 10 sets of three of bench today and I don't want to be bothering people I don't know all day. Yeah, and you don't even know if you can trust them because yeah, they might not even. Yeah, because might be different. Yeah. And then so I just adjusted my workout, hit a top set of like 315, and after I just uh, moved down to a weight that I know I can lift off myself. Yeah. I just blasted through that, and I just hit the same uh, muscles, but I kind of took advantage of all the machines that were at a commercial gym that aren't available at Barbell just to kind of get a different stimulus. Oh, cool. So pretty that smart. was pretty awesome. But what was really cool is afterwards I took a lift to meet up, meet back up with you guys. Yeah. And this guy is a, a white guy, an old white guy that's like 57 years old. Yep. And he used to be a pro surfer in the 80s. What? Out here? Uh, yeah. Just... So he's he's from Culver City, Cali. Yeah. That's where we're, we're from. Yep. But this guy had like the most mean old pigeon accent. I was like, what the hell? Like, why does your... His, his accent is crazier than some of our friends here. What? Like every other word was brada, every other... And he's like 57. Every other word was like... Or the kind or whatever and uh, he, what he told me was he, he did a surf competition out here and he fell in love with the place so he just stayed here so he's been here for over 30 years now oh that makes sense and then he knew all the shortcuts so he would like take me through all these shortcuts and he'll like he was a tour guide too like he told me about this is the party city like this little neighborhood right here you see everyone with tarps if you want to party on fourth of july new year's come here you could just walk into anyone's front yard and they'll hand you a beer oh tight and everyone will kick you with you and then he told me like we passed by like this other neighborhood and he said the owner of Famous Amos yep. lives in there. What? And every Halloween he gives out Famous Amos cookies. Oh And he shit. dresses up as a cookie bag. Oh cute. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, that's pretty cool. That's and he, so cool. Yeah, he would just give me like this really cool tour. His name is Vincent. Shout out to Vincent from Lyft. He was a really cool guy. Nice. What did you do? Uh, we just, well I packed up all your stuff. Oh, thank and you. And then everyone just kind of was already waking up, getting ready. And then Joe uh, figured out where we wanted to eat, and Joe has the palate of like, uh, he's like a food, a foodie. Yeah. So his palate's super refined. Yeah. So he's always picking like these really dope spots for us to That's eat. That's delicious. I know. I would. He killed it, but I would have. I wouldn't have picked something like this. Um. So yeah, it was a really good spot. Uh, we went there. There was a, a like maybe a five to seven minute wait and then we sat down and then we ordered and we just waited and then that's when you met with us we did absolutely nothing <laughs> that's <was> tight <laughs> yeah i guess so i mean it's cool that's what we're, we're out here for yeah. yeah exactly we're out here for to just chill you know what i really liked about the guy that gave me a ride so he that he's a white guy with the big pigeon yeah so he accent him, yeah he told me he's been in jail oh shit then, damn uh, how long was your ride <laughs> <laughs> we just had a long conversation Holy fuck. Yeah, he told me he'd been in jail and then uh, he came out here and he says it's not even the climate that that brought him in it's the people he uh. says he's never been to a place where there's just unconditional trust that you can just stay at someone's house like you can because you show me he's always like, oh, that guy right there he's just hitchhiking hitchhiking is normal in hawaii yeah anyone will pick you up and you could be like oh bro can i borrow your car for a day and they'll be like yeah just take it and then people, like they'll let you crash at their house like it's oh i hope that never changes he was telling me like even if you're in debt out here the debt collectors will call you and they'll be like hey tell me what's going on whatever what? and they're go, like your psychologist like, yeah, i don't want to i don't want to like i don't want to pursue any action towards you but you know like i can only give you maybe two more weeks and if you don't go then whatever whatever and he's like they're very accommodating and they know about everyone's personal issues versus like on the this is funny because he said he's a white guy with a pigeon accent. He was also making fun of white people. He's like, but on the mainland, they're like, hey, you better pay up or else we're going to take away your house. And it was just funny to hear a white guy with a pigeon accent making fun of white guy. That is really <laughs> He's like, that's why he's like, I love this place. I'm like, that's fucking cool. That is fucking cool. But damn, sounds like you made a new friend. <laughs> I did. Nancy was saying mainlanders are starting to move here too. But they're gonna fuck shit up because they don't have the Aloha spirit though. Well, the area where we're at, it's a lot of white folk. And they're already complaining about a bunch of like city, city policy and shit. Like they're complaining about the parking and like having tourists come in. And I'm like, bitch, you are a tourist. How the fuck can you be demanding some shit when you're asking here oh, fucking as a tourist? You know, even the gym had Aloha spirit. I saw this guy, he was like in the squat rack and I need a squat rack. 
So I was like, hey, you know, how many more sets you have left? And he goes, oh, I got like seven on that, but if you want to get it, I can move out of your way. And I'm what? like, what the yeah. f- who the fuck does that? That's nice. And then he started telling me about this muscle confusion theory he has. <laughs> where, where like, he's like, you know, like, you know how in your mind, like you tell yourself you want to do nine reps, but you only get three. He's like, what? I think confused my mind. And I'm like, what? I'm like, that just means you're, you're picking the wrong numbers. You're just overestimating your ability. <laughs> nine and three reps has a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, right? got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was just funny. I'm like, what the hell? Because like, I'll tell him, oh, like, he's like, you need a spot. I'm like, no, I don't need a spot. I just need a lift off. And he was like, well, I'll just be there for you because you know sometimes you say you want to do ten, but you only get five. And I'm like, that never. Ha-. I was like, in my mind, I was like, that never happens. I don't know what the hell you're talking. about. <laughs> that was very nice of him, though. He got your back. Oh, the water the finally. You didn't get to go in yet, huh? No. God so you guys, damn. you guys don't, you guys aren't even in Hawaii yet. No, we're not. We didn't not even have the pokey water. either. Nah, I didn't. he didn't have the pokey. He had a headache oh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. I didn't get baptized uh, yet. You're not officially in Hawaii until you get baptized. That's what we were saying That's yesterday. True. That's true. We did everything. Then once we got to the beach, we got into the water. We're like, okay, we're in Hawaii. Now you're in Hawaii. Fuck, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ma bear. Hi. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just chilling. They're doing it on me. What, what are, the what hell am is I? all of this? What am I? You're a mermaid with scales. Someone drew individual scales? Yep. Yeah. Damn, you guys got scales and you got little veins in the freaking fish tails. What are those called? They're like veins, right? <laughs> Damn. The fish bone. I want to Dang. See oh, this is so cute. So cute, so cute. So cute, you little mermaid. It feels like something's pulsating. What the hell? It's probably your your marine vagina. What? Your ocean your ocean clam. No, like it keeps sucking. It's probably your uh your oyster clitoris. I want a picture. Fine, I'll give oyster you a picture. <laughs> Can you sing me a song from uh, what's that movie called, Little Mermaid? Yeah. Um, Go. Fun. Under the sea. Yeah, yeah. Your Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a girl? A girl who has everything. Everything. I got gadgets and gizmos and plenty. I got boots and buttons galore. You got the ammo box? I have got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Damn, she's a greedy bitch. Why the hell does she want more? I didn't know that. Man! Hi, Mom Bear. Did you have a good time snorkeling this time? I did. I had a really nice time snorkeling this time. Last time we were here, it was for our wedding. Um, we were playing host to our friends and our family, so we didn't get to do a lot of the stuff that we wanted to. And we were just so conscious and aware of who was doing what, making sure everyone was comfortable with that. This time, we got to be selfish and we were just thinking about ourselves. So we just got to be free and explore. Can you tell everyone what happened last time when I was snorkeling here for a really long time <sighs> by myself? Because this is the story that we always tell on JK News. And you're always the, David always calls you the cartoon lady that's biting her fingernails and the fingernail like, chips are flying all over the place. Okay, so it was similar to this. I mean, we were here, so this is the exact spot. And we were all just kind of swimming, and then you're a very strong swimmer, so you like to go on your own. So I said, hey, you know what? You want to keep exploring. It's our first time here. I get it. So I said, you keep going. I'm going to swim back because I'm getting tired, and I'm just, I don't want to swim anymore. Um, so then you left, and you went that way. And then um, I think like an hour or so passed. Everyone came back here. We all kind of met up again, and we're like, okay, where's everyone at? And then everyone was here except for you, and I'm like, shit. Like, I know he went out and he's by himself because they always tell you when you snorkel to go out with a buddy, especially like out in the ocean, you're supposed to go with someone, but you're all by yourself. And I'm thinking, oh no, all right, he'll be fine. And another 15 minutes pass, and you're still not around. And then more and more time passes, and I'm like, oh my god, like, he's not coming back. And I just keep looking for you because you have like 
I, I, I remember you having something very distinct that time. I don't know if it was your shorts or your flippers. Maybe my flippers and my snorkel, they're both uh, yellow. Something. And then um, I kept looking and then I couldn't see you anywhere. And I kept like looking at the tops of the heads, of, like everyone's heads. And I'm like, wow, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And I kept looking over here, over here, and I was just thinking. And that's what he's saying that I was going like this, but I was just like, I was inviting him. I was just thinking. Like, no, ah, uh, David said uh, you're inviting. But you know what my favorite part of that whole story is? It shows how much you really, really love me. Even though you act tough on camera, like you don't need me and you're an independent woman. Because I am. But when we snuggle in bed, you always tell me that you would die without me. And that was the first public embodiment of that. And I really, really like that. Fine, can you give me you million do, dollars now? Cause you, <laughs> why? Because you do have a very, very cuny side, but not that many people see it. I don't so. want anybody else but you to see it. Why? Me love cut my finger. Oh, but everyone likes it when they see you love me. How was this snorkeling with Papa Bear this time? I remember last Fun. time you were like, oh, Papa Bear, you swim way too far out. I don't want to swim with you because I get scared. But then I this know, time... I didn't want to be a little bitch, so I just sucked it up and I just went with the flow. Did you, were you a little bit more adventurous this time because you were swimming with me? So, so, no, I was just adventurous just because I didn't want to be a little bitch anymore. I didn't want to explore. And, it, and last time I came, I didn't have as much fun because I was with everyone. So this time I said, fuck it, I'm just going to go all in. We saw us do some uh, pretty deep places. Like if I looked down, it was like 40 feet deep. I know. I saw it. It's pretty cool. Did that I'm scare glad you? That I did a little bit because then I was thinking like I'm not the only thing here. Like, I'm sure I'm not. like I know it's not gonna be aggressive and try to kill me, but if it is hungry, it's gonna come and see because they have really poor sight. Yeah. They do um, check bites. Yeah. So it, like I don't want it to come and check bite me. Check bite me. Like, yeah. If you weren't with me, I probably would have went a little bit deeper, but I already know that you're already pushing your boundaries. So I was just like, okay, Ma Bear, this is probably really, really far from Ma Bear already, so I wanted to be a good buddy and not take you out too far where you feel uncomfortable. Thank you, good buddy. I love you so much. I love you so much, too. Are you having a good time in Hawaii so far? I'm having a great time, yeah. I'm just chilling. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm all just hanging out. I love it. Fine, people look at your boobies. Not that this is even a bad thing at all, but the only thing um, that I wanted to do or that I long to do now is to kind of just spend more time outside of a car. And how do you do that? I don't know. So today we um, we got Giovanni's the shrimp truck, and from where we were, which was uh, Hanauma Bay, 
it was about an hour and 40 minutes and that's only because um it's not the distance so so it's not like a really far distance it's mainly just because the speed limit's 35 um because it's super chill so if they had a normal freeway it'd probably take us like 30 minutes yeah maybe like at most yeah um but because i was stuck in the car for so long i'm like oh my god there's so much like lush uh like vegetation out here you know and like back at home it's you know we, we live like in a desert um so a lot of the plants and stuff that we see it's all like been altered by man like it doesn't it doesn't even make sense because we'll have like one is like a palm tree and then we'll have like what are the other trees called I don't know, douglas fir <laughs> douglas fir i don't think that's right cedar cedars yeah but like they don't just they just don't make sense um but then out here everything's supernatural and um, not supernatural but just very natural and um, I, I wanted to be more a part of that so I'm like man how can I do that without like having to walk for forever and then I was thinking oh what if we ride some bikes oh cool so what you want to do is kind of like not take the car route of checking out Hawaii but yeah. taking a more slower pace so getting a bike yeah. or something because you know like when you walk or when you're like when you do any other mode of transportation outside of a car, it's like you get a more intimate feel of your surroundings. So yeah. then you'll start noticing details like in a mailbox or on a porch or on houses. Or you'll be like, oh wow, there's these types of flowers that are planted. Or you like smell different things. I feel like you get a different understanding of like your environment when you're like in it, opposed to you in a car that's in that environment. You know what I also want to get an understanding of? The rest of this house. Why? I don't even know what the rest of the house looks like oh, yet. Oh, true. We haven't Whatever. even done the tour of the house. Like, all I know is what our bedroom looks like, what the living room looks like. Oh, that's it. Just and, this one, because there's this two. And this beautiful backyard. But I was talking to David uh, earlier, and he said this house has four bedrooms. So it's actually quite spacious. But well, there's just, one there, and there's one over there. We just haven't seen any parts of it yet. It's just as soon as we woke up, which I woke up at 6.30, after I brushed my teeth and stuff, I was out and about, and I haven't been home the whole day. Yeah, me too. Like, I dropped you off to work out, came back, and then everyone was up, and then I changed real quick, and then we went to eat breakfast, you met up with us, and then bada bing bada boom, the day was done. I actually wouldn't be opposed to chilling like half the day here tomorrow, and then finding bicycles somewhere. I think we're going to have to, because when we went to the store, uh, we just said, hey, wouldn't it be cool to just have a barbecue, because we have like, a really beautiful grill out here. And um, we wanted to just relax, and everyone was like, yeah, let's do it. So then we went to the store, and mind you, everyone was full, because myth has it that... Or, it's not a myth, this is true. Uh, true? Really? Yeah. Okay. If you are if you go to the grocery store hungry, you overbuy stuff, because you're buying with your stomach okay, and fine. not your brain. Well, maybe it was a myth for me, because I don't really do that, but I always get junk food, regardless of the level of hunger that I have. But um, So they say you're not supposed to go to the store... The, or the supermarket when you're hungry because you're gonna buy a bunch of shit that you don't like. So we went on a very full stomach, but yet we still ended up spending four hundred dollars. Yeah, but it's a group of like eight people or ten people. Or True, and because of that, we bought a lot of stuff that we don't really, that or or that we just didn't finish consuming for tonight's event, which was like the kickback barbecue. Like let's just unwind. So then we have a lot of food for the rest of the week. We do have leftovers for tomorrow, though. We do, so maybe we can make it happen and spend half the day here and just chill. The only thing, though, is this house is beautiful and the location is great because about like, you know, like three miles from here, and it's like all the convenience stores that we can think of, fast yeah. food, anything we need is here. Because every time that we have come, we stay on the opposite side of the island, and that's usually like the more countryside, um, totally far away and super removed from anything touristy. So. Um, it takes you like about 30 minutes to find like the closest grocery store or convenience store But what I like about that side is that it's just so peaceful so much. I mean Hawaii is already got married, pretty much. Yeah, that's exactly where we got married. Hawaii is already pretty slow, but the countryside of things is just Even slower that much more slow like when the when um, When the sun sets like all there's no lights outdoors. There's no light pollution like everything's dark you see millions of stars and everyone just to bed, really. That's how they said uh, the old Polynesians used to navigate with the stars because there's no light pollution, so it's easy for them to get around. Yeah, like there's the stars are so bright, you feel like there's like a little night light out there. 
It's so fucking beautiful. Um, and that's kind of what I miss. And I wish this house, we can just pick it up and then move it to the country. Because I love that, like, the front yard was literally the ocean. But then like, you lose out on all the stores and stuff. Oh. But yeah, but then you lose out on all the convenience of, you know, everything that you have. I mean, you can't have it all, right? Yeah. Well, I'm really tired now. And so I think I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. A long day. I mean, it's one o'clock for us right now. Yeah. I, I didn't change the time. Oh, it's almost two. And wow. I haven't even swam Congrats. this pool yet. So oh I want to swim in this pool tomorrow. Our Aloha pool. Yeah. This is Aloha. And I hear it's pretty deep. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We woke up and we've just been go, 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 go. Good night, everyone. Do we look darker? I know I'm burnt for sure. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Just waiting for a flight. I know! Freaking finally! <laughs> we've been sitting here, well not here in this place, but we've been at the airport since 10 a.m. and right now it's... Five, five. Seven hours. So we're at least eight hours behind because the plane's not going to take off until six. But it's all good because it was a blessing in disguise. It really, really was. Because I can't remember the last time we hung out, just us two. 